And nominations for Toronto's mayoral by-election will open in about two and a half weeks. And so far, there have been a number of familiar faces in the city that have declared that they are going to run for mayor or they are at least going to consider it. And for more on this, we're joined by former city councilor Giorgio Mamaliti. So we got to get down to it. You say you have a lot to say. Let's hear it. I do. I think, uh, you know, first of all, I love the city so much. And uh, I... I I just dreaded and hated to see it decline over the last few years. I think we've lost uh, we've lost a lot. We've lost our personality. Um, I think our dignity has gone uh, in in a number of different ways. Uh, our street dignity it's uh, we're dirty. Um, the way people are behaving, I think uh, we need to take note of 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 how government has actually contributed to that. And quite frankly. <laughs> You know, there were a few of us that were trying to warn the city you know, when we were making decisions on policy uh, on that, and, and I was one of them. And, and I want to clean it up, you know. I, I want to come back and use my experience, the 30 years of experience, to come back and change things for the better. And what does that mean? It means literally looking at everything and making sure that it's safe to walk down the streets of Toronto, safe to take a subway or a bus, um, challenge people that want to uh, be mean to people, uh, challenge people that want uh, even to, uh, to create an atmosphere that's dangerous in this city and make sure that uh, we don't put up with it anymore, you know? Um, and I think I've got the experience to do that. And with that, may I get a definitive answer? Are you running for mayor and are you announcing it exclusively on CP24. I'm announcing today exclusively on CP24 that I am going to enter the race. It's people before politics. And that, for me, is the most important part of this equation. You won't see me asking any leader out there of any uh, government or party to endorse me. I am going to ask the people of Toronto to endorse experience, to endorse a person who doesn't mind rolling up his sleeves and challenging the efforts that are needed here to make this city just so beautiful and wonderful again. And may I get you to elaborate on people versus politics because we hear this a lot. Well, what does that mean to you? Well, that, that's the way I've done my politics for 30 years. It's grassroots. It's listening to the families. We've not listened to families with anything that we've done over the last few years. COVID has, has been a disaster for us. For business, we haven't listened to the business owners. We've told them what's best for them. And now we can't even walk into our favorite restaurant anymore because they're closed down. You know, we have to start listening to the families listening to business owners, listening to everybody that has anything to say about the city, left or right of the spectrum, and then create the policies to ensure that everybody's uh, got what they need in this city. You know, there's a lot of vulnerable people in this city that even can't be heard. It's important for us to hear what they have to say, too. Look, I wrote the, the affordable housing policy for the city. There, is, there are tools that we, we could have used to be able to get people into units immediately. And, and the administration over the last few years has chosen to forget those tools. It was there. They didn't even have to pass any policies. I wrote the, the, um, the policy on how to treat drug addiction when I was an MPP in 1993. Uh, and... and Drug addiction now has become one of the leading, leading issues that we have to deal with in the city. We've chosen to watch people take drugs as opposed to saving their lives. For me, uh, I just want to come back and put my experience back to, into City Hall to make sure that we could do this quickly. Um, we're losing out. We're losing our dignity in this city. And as we wrap up, what are your final words? Trust me, uh, I know that uh, some people have, have tried to challenge me over 30 years, integrity included. I'm still here. I've done nothing wrong. I am here to lead. And trust me on this, I know that I could do the job and I know that I can change the policies to make everybody's life easier, including those people who can't afford to buy a home or an apartment or rent an apartment. We've got to make sure that the tools are there for you, right? 
uh, even the people that, that, that live in social housing, for instance. Uh, I don't believe that we have to continue giving them and they've lost their dignity in, in living in places that have mold and, and, and it's unsafe because the, the, drug, the drug lords have taken over their communities. We have to get in there and be tough and make sure that those people are safe as well. Everybody. Being tough and making sure people are safe. I'm the only one that can do it. I heard that Giorgio Mamaliti announcing your run for mayor. April the 3rd, anybody that's interested uh, in hearing a true campaign and the flavor of how we're going to get this job done, come and see me at City Hall. I'll probably be there around 10 o'clock in the morning to sign up.